Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. Uh, all of those those big lies we tell ourselves. Uh, sometimes they're the number one thing that gets in our way. Uh, we've been going through a number of them this week. I've got to finish up with my big three this morning. Um, I can run my business off of my sphere of influence and referrals. That's where my business is going to come from. My sphere of influence, my family and friends, the people I know, and the referrals they send me. Uh, you know, that's probably not true. I mean, the, the, there are some exceptions, but the number of people that that's true for is incredibly small. I wouldn't bet on it. And the reason's pretty simple. Number one, you just simply don't know enough people. You don't know enough people who are going to move this year to make a living off of it. You don't. And only about 3% of the U.S. population moves every year. And so if you're wondering if you do, then just count up all the people you know on this planet. Multiply it times 3%. That's who's moving this year. You just don't know which ones. And by the way, even if you like that number, everybody's not going to use you. Everybody's not going to use you for very valid reasons. Uh, an invalid reason would be uh, you didn't do a very good job sticking, getting sticky with them and building credibility over a long period of time. So they either don't take you seriously as a real estate agent, they know somebody else who has more credibility, or they just forgot about you. So here's a little math equation for you. If you want your business to come from your sphere of influence and from referrals, then count up all the people that are in your database. If they're not in your CRM, then I guess it doesn't count because you're not going to be able to do a very good job of staying sticky with them. Count up all the people who are in your database. Multiply it times 3%. Now take that number and multiply that times 20%, which would really be the maximum market share you're going to be able to capture. And that's how many transactions are in your sphere of influence and referrals. And I don't think you're going to like the answer very much. Right. So one of the big lies we tell ourselves is, I can generate enough business out of my sphere of influence and referrals. You'll generate some. And this is a key reason why the average real estate agent in Atlanta is going to sell less than three or four homes a year. Why? Why are they only selling three homes a year? Well, because they're entirely dependent on their sphere of influence. And there's just not enough business there. People just move every 10 to 12 years. They just don't move every year. Uh, the next big lie that we tell ourselves, I can do this from home. It's more convenient. It, I don't have to deal with the travel time. I don't have to deal with the traffic. I don't have to deal with the cost of gas. I can do this from home. Uh, well, if you could, you would. You would have already been doing it by now. But we can't. And there's a number of really good reasons. Number one, you need the synergy of other people around you, the good and the bad. You need the resources. I built a lot of stuff here. As a real estate agent myself for almost four decades, I know what you need. I do. It's not a big secret. I know what you need. I've tried to build a brokerage here that will help and support, give you what you need to run a thriving business. What's the problem? The problem is you're not here. You're, you're doing what's most convenient for you in your life, and that almost never is what is the best that would lead you to the most success. It's just what's most convenient. Okay, you're paying a gigantic price for that. And if you say, Mike, I understand that, I understand the price I'm paying, and that's okay with me, then I'm okay with it too. But if you think that you can work from home and reach your goals this year, um, that's a special version of crazy. You just can't. You're not equipped to do it. And for everybody that wants to keep debating this with me, that's fine. Just show me the results. If you can show me the results, I'll shut up. But can you? And I guess my third big lie that we tell ourselves today, uh, you know, this business, it, it does it to us. It does it to us. It looks, as all, all of our customers think, what we do is just not that hard. 
Right. Well, we actually think that too. We actually believe the last big lie I'm going to share with you this week. We actually believe that we can work a part-time schedule and get full-time money. It's one of the big lies that the industry perpetuates. It's not true. I mean, it might be true for a very, very small number of people. You know, I call those people the lucky sperm club. And if you are in the lucky sperm club, good for you. I am very uh, envious of you because I'm not. Most of us are not. And uh, those of us that are not in the club, we have to go out and earn our living every day. Uh, believing I can work a part-time schedule and get full-time money. I know it's what baited you into real estate. It looked like you could. I see nobody doing that except the lucky sperm clubbers. And if that's you, good for you. If it's not you, then you need to get up, get dressed, and get to work every day. Folks, if we can just start talking truth to ourselves instead of perpetuating myths and lies and, and fallacies, things that we want to believe, but they're just not true. If we just start talking truth to ourselves, speaking directly and honestly to ourselves, uh, makes it a lot easier to get to a solution and get to the life that we want to lead and get out there and make it happen for ourselves each day.